This video is for my friend Nelson. Uh, we were talking about the efficiency of that drug hydrochloroquine on the COVID-19 and the success rates from using it because in Brazil, they've been using this drug to combat their COVID-19 cases. And I decided to look at the math between the USA and Brazil because he mentioned that I should compare them. The uh, Brazil had 40,743 confirmed COVID cases as of right now, uh, April 20th, maybe it's the 21st. And the USA had um, more than 10 times that amount, almost 20 times more confirmed COVID cases. Now, um, in order to compare whether this is really working or not, I had to look at the deaths and divide the number of deaths by the confirmed cases to get uh, these percents. Um, I got this number for Brazil, which uh, when you move the decimal point over twice, you get 6.349%, and the USA has actually 5.366%, which means that the death rate for the United States is actually a little bit lower than that for Brazil. Um, I started to look at some other reasons outside of the hydrochloroquine why this might be happening. I thought, let's look at obesity. And then the United States, um, we have 39% obesity, whereas in Brazil, they only have 19.8%. So it kind of says that these people would be higher risk. Um, smoking is about the same percentage of people, but the average age of the population in the United States is a little bit older. We know that COVID goes for people that are older. Um, average age in Brazil is 33.5, average in USA 38.2. So I would think that these would actually increase our death rate number. But as you can see, Brazil, which is using hydrochloroquine, has a higher death rate percentage. So um, I wasn't expecting to find that. I didn't know what I would find. Um, my friend Nelson, I don't want you to be upset by this, but this is just the math um, that I did today. And at this point, it doesn't say that um, hydrochloroquine is a really great thing to take. That said, the death rate is almost equal. So I wouldn't say that it's probably as dangerous to take as what people are saying. I don't know. Um, yeah, stay safe, and I hope you stay healthy, and that we make it through this thing. Bye.